The Analects of Confucius Book 2 Wisdom Through the Ages Welcome to the reading to the Analects of Confucius Book 2 by Confucius. I am Chloe, I will be reading today. You are about to embark into a wisdom journey. First I will guide you into a deep state of relaxation, where you will experience a wonderful calmness and meditative state of mind. This time is for you, and you alone. Get into a nice comfortable position. I will start by giving you a little biography of Confucius. Then I will start reading his book and pause to give you time to ponder on what he said. I will read book one. Confucius was an influential Chinese philosopher, teacher and political figure known for his popular aphorisms and for his models of social interaction. Confucius, also known as Kong Qi or Kung Fu Zhu, was a Chinese philosopher, teacher and political figure. His teachings, preserved in the Analects, focused on creating ethical models of family and public interaction and setting educational standards. After his death, Confucius became the official imperial philosophy of China, which was extremely influential during the Han, Tang and Song dynasties. Confucius was born probably in 551 BC, lunar calendar, in present-day Fu, Shandong Province, China. Little is known of Confucius' childhood. Records of the historian, written by Shima Chen, born 145 BC, died 86 BC, offers the most detailed account of Confucius' life. However, some contemporary historians are skeptical as to the record's accuracy, regarding it as myth, not fact. According to records of the historian, Confucius was born into a royal family of the Chou dynasty. Other accounts describe him as being born into poverty. What is undisputed about Confucius' life is that he existed during a time of ideological crisis in China. The Master said, Conduct government in accordance with virtue and it will be like the North Star standing in its place, with all the other stars paying court to it. The Master said, the 300 poems of the Book of Odes may be summed up in a single phrase, think nothing base. The master said, guide them with government orders, regulate them with penalties, and the people will seek to evade the law and be without shame. Guide them with virtue, regulate them with ritual, and they will have a sense of shame and become upright.
The master said, at 15 I set my mind on learning, by 30 I had found my footing, at 40 I was free of perplexities, by 50 I understood the will of heaven, by 60 I learned to give ear to others, by 70 I could follow my heart's desires without overstepping the line. Meng Yizi asked about filial devotion. The master replied, never break the rules. When Fan Qi was driving the carriage, the master reported this to him, saying, Ming son, Meng Yizi, asked me about filial devotion. I told him, never break the rules. Fan Qi said, what did you mean by that? The master said, while they are alive, serve them according to ritual. When they die, bury them according to ritual, and sacrifice to them in accord with ritual. Meng Wubo asked about filial devotion. The master said, your father and mother should have to worry only about your falling ill. Zayu asked about filial devotion. The master said, nowadays it's taken to mean just seeing that one's parents get enough to eat. But we do that much for dogs or horses as well. If there is no reverence, how is it any different? Zixia asked about filial devotion. The master said, the difficult part is the facial expression. As for young people taking on the heavy work when there's something to be done, or older people going first when there are wine and food can this be called filial devotion? The master said, I talk a whole day with Huawei, and he never disagrees with me, as though he were stupid. But later, when I examine his private conduct, I see that it fully exemplifies my ideas. No, Huawei is not stupid. The master said, watch what he does, observe the path he follows, examine where he comes to rest can any person then remain a mystery? Can any person remain a mystery? The master said, be thoroughly versed in the old and understand the new then you can be a teacher. The master said, the gentleman is not a utensil. Zigong asked about the gentleman. 
The master said, first, he puts his words into action. Only later does he follow up with explanations. The master said, the gentleman is fair-minded and not partisan. The petty man is partisan and not fair-minded. The master said, learning without thought is pointless. Thought without learning is dangerous. The master said, to delve into strange doctrines can bring only harm. The master said, you, Zilu, shall I teach you what it means to know something? When you know, to know you know. When you don't know, to know you don't know. That's what knowing is. Zizong was studying to gain an official position. The master said, hear much, put aside what's doubtful, and in your speech apply the rest with caution then you'll make a few mistakes. Observe much, put aside what's suspicious, and in your actions apply the rest with caution then you'll have little to regret. Making a few mistakes, having little to regret the way to official position lies in this. Duke I asked, saying, how can I make the common people submissive? Confucius replied, promote the straight and let them oversee the crooked then the common people will be submissive. Promote the crooked and let them oversee the straight then the common people will not be submissive. G. Kang Si asked, how can I make the common people respectful, loyal, and diligent in their work? The master said, if you are strict in overseeing them, they will be respectful. If you are filial and compassionate, they will be loyal. If you promote persons of goodness and teach those who are incompetent, then the people will be diligent. Someone questioned Confucius, saying, why aren't you in government? The master said, the book of documents says, filial, only be filial, a friend to elder and younger brothers this contributes to government. To do this is, in fact, to take part in government. Why must I be in government?
The master said, persons who lack trustworthiness, I don't know how they get by. Big carts that have no yoke bar, little carts that have no collar bar, how can you go anywhere in them? Zizong questioned the master, saying, can we know how things will be ten generations from now? The master said, Yin followed the rites of Xiao, and we know in what ways it added to or subtracted from them. Zhou follows the rites of Yin, and we know in what ways it added to or subtracted from them. Whoever carries on from Zhou, we can know how things will be even a hundred generations from now. The master said, to sacrifice to those who are not one's ancestors is flattery. To see what is right and not do it is cowardly. I am going to count from 1 to 5 now and with each word I say, you will become more and more aware of the present moment, and ready to go about your day. I will continue to read the book in the next part. One. Coming back now. Two. Bringing back the memory of nature with you. Three. Feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. Four. Feeling stress free and ready to achieve anything. And five. Welcome back and enjoy the rest of your day.